The international textile industry is poisoning China's rivers and its people, according to a Greenpeace report released on Tuesday. Footage shows Greenpeace took samples earlier this year from black water pumped out of two of China's biggest communal wastewater treatment plants. They serve a large industrial base known for textile manufacturing in China's eastern Zhejiang province. Tests showed sewage from both plants in Shaoxing contained toxic chemicals, some of them cancer-causing and bioaccumulative, which were being pumped directly into the Xiantang River through large pipes. Now the plants are China's largest in terms of capacity. Local farmers who have watched the Shaoxing Binhai industrial complex grow beside their villages fear the chemicals in the water system are damaging their health and the health of future generations. If it carries on like this, there's no way that it ever could return to the way it used to be. They are mocking the lives of the common people. People have done tests and found ammonia in this water and us common people pour it out of our taps and we drink it. Shaoxing County is home to the largest textile industrial cluster in China and in 2010 produced over 17 billion meters of dyed fabric and over 130 million items of clothing, according to Greenpeace, who quoted local government statistics. It accounts for a third of China's textile manufacturing capacity. The Shaoxing Binhai Industrial Complex contains over 100 factories, many involved in various stages of textile production, as well as other industries. Greenpeace said that international fashion brands including Calvin Klein and Levi's are known to source clothing in sites like the Binhai Industrial Zone. Because wastewater is channeled through communal pipes, it is impossible to say exactly which factory the chemicals were produced by.